for that last loss, but I just want to like let them know like the type of mission that we on. Just True legend. Dad and Brett, I think last year he could shoot the three. It's just the head coach didn't really allow him <laughs> to shoot it. <laughs> oh, J.D. Note. A little bit of style. The interception by J.D. Note. Putting some style on it. Oh, yes, he is. It's come down, though, today, are we, Coach? We <laughs> hope not. <laughs> Southpaw's going to throw a little different dimension. We really do. I mean, Adis, Tony, KK, Devo, we got guys that throw people off with their abilities, you know, to year in and year out. How do you guys mesh that team together? Yeah, I think because of the pro background, whether it be trades with somebody, you know, really, really good in transition finishing. It's Jalen Williams. He's putting on a show as well. Jalen. Um, you know, and, and, and he's really, really good. We just saw the dribble. Kind of sprinkling in some freshmen. There's Jalen Williams with a throw. A scrimmage. We're inside two minutes in a fast-paced second quarter. That's Cade Arbogast. He, is the recruiting pipeline still out there in the West Coast some? Do you foresee, you know, in the future, uh, you know, bring it? Many recruit everybody the first time because if you don't get them, you, you never might just know. the second yeah. time around. You never know. It was phenomenal. Um, his big thing this year is to continue going, but then absolutely, I agree. Um, the SEC, arguably the best basketball conference uh, this year. And on the other end, there's Audis Tony, the pit transfer, flushing one through. You know, Mike, there's one guy we have not mentioned, and I almost feel bad because we haven't. The action's picked up. That's National, National Championship, Championship at Indiana. Absolutely, and Keith, Keith is amazing, man. Anywhere you go, he's like, yeah, introduces himself. I'm Keith Smart, and everybody looks with Miami, and just a, just a, just a playmaker, shot creator, shot maker, um, and anyone who can average almost 16 points in, in a game. There's Note. He'll drop in another one. That's 20 points for Note. You always got to be aware of where he's at on the court. There's a takeaway. I'm not sure if Note was going up to flush. He almost lost it. I'm not sure what he was. He was looking like he wanted to elevate. He, he wanted to, but he's. Robinson defending inside two minutes. And no three pointer from Robinson. when it's a smaller Razorback lineup. J.D. Note, not basketball. Definitely going to be a fan favorite. Note on the guy. drive. Arkansas again. They've had a few passes deflected. Open look for J.D. I want to see them take it to that next level in that sophomore season. And Coach Musselman said they are the unquestioned leaders. A couple of sophomores. Note with the poke away. Note is freaky athletic. J.D. Note, the basket and a chance for three. Chris likes back in the game. There's Note with the corner three. Had the nice defensive play on the other end. Note probing. JD Note able to get. Come on. 
No take controlling for the Hogs to begin the second half. Finds an easy path to the rim, and J.D. No. Find that point guard. They're trying to figure out those rotations. Yeah, that's when you want to play uh, a, a top 25 team as early in the year as they're getting better. It's for Bears burned an early timeout. They've not scored in the second half, and Arkansas gets the immediate steal. Amude on the drive, and he'll poke one in. Run that Arkansas is going to continue to go on. Talk about a heat check. That was from the Razor back to extra pass. And Mercer is staying down. Don't want to give that guy an open look. How about J.D. Note? That's 23 points. Don't want to give that guy an open look. He's doing all the little things and, and getting some of those dirty baskets under the under the rim. That was intercepted by Note. Trying to gather and score. And several lead changes here in the second half. That seems like an efficient play. The drive from Note, the kick out, and an interesting possession. It's still alive for the Razorbacks. Oh, my oh, goodness. a couple of golden opportunities, and it's not Get done another yet. another one, maybe? Can Note end this? Jeez. With another rebound, his fourth. A little bit of contact. Note stays with it. Floater no good. And Arkansas is loving this. If there's a quick shot at the other end, a bit out of control, They'll take that, and in transition, Note knocks down the... J.D. drove it hard to the basket, finished with a little bit of contact, no call. But I think it was good to see him see the ball go in the basket. Then he comes down the next play. No so good for Williams. On the other side of that, Arkansas three of nine, a turnover. Two on one, Davis. Able to stay with it and gets the layup. And a steal. Here comes Note. He looked the defender off. And another turn. Pass inside. Just into the game, Trey Wade. One of the newcomers transferred from Wichita State. Here's Note for three. How about a two's roll? Note. J.D. Notan, third. And then in and out the other one. So, look forward to seeing him knock down a couple shots. J.D. Notan knocks down another three. Shot clock in single digits. There's Steve Onoa. In the NCAA right. tournament, you know, beat, beat a Texas team. Been in the mix, been in three six. There's Amuda feeding everybody down floor. Nice spin and an easy. And the Panthers back up by a point. And like we said, this, this U19 is not going to back down. They're going to play hard. Speaking of a mid-range game, and then one. Manny, this is really three straight games where Arkansas has not had a strong start. And they're not short on a couple of jump shots tonight. I feel like this is an important four-minute stretch for Arkansas. Vanover, that's as easy as they come. A little bit more. Vanover had 19 against Gardner-Webb. It was his third highest scoring output in his career. That's a long knockdown from Note. A couple of misses, but Devo able to get that offensive rebound. That hurts if you're the pants. And then Note, second half, just as entertaining as we had over the first 20. Note tries to find Amude. That time it was Kimmins able to get by Likes. Went with the left hand. He was stuffed by Amude. Hawks are going to come back five on four. Note probing. Note scooping. Note scoring. Born, and we've seen for a few minutes tonight. A steal by Note. Jalen Williams. JD Note nine. Just have 13 tonight. Davis out of the game. He scored 10. Note. From Odis Tony. In the conference tournament with a positive test turned out to be a false positive. Trey Wade running the floor. That's an easy two. We'll take it every day. You didn't tell them that the opposing team would have almost 15 threes. Five teams in the 15 years under Ben Jacobson. And how about the disruption time, by Williams? Big time play by Jalen Williams. That's a huge play. Denying A.J. Green. Note on the drive. All the way to the for two. Always known for, for making tough shots. Note draws the double. Has to get rid of the basketball. Good find for Tony. Oh, he's Tony. He's had play tonight. He's made well. He's made.
shot after shot, dunk after dunk. Note again draws the double. Finds Jalen Williams. Super Bowl for two more. Of eligibility, but who knows what can happen, huh? <laughs> These days. They'll be Indiana next. Ote, bad over, and the flush. It's under 10, Smith. Ishmasu. Jalen Williams got a hand on that cleanly. Ote behind the back. Tony lays it in. Yeah, their hands are higher tonight, Mark. That's the big difference with Arkansas defensively. Like right there, that shot's not challenged. This season, it looks like they're as deep as they were a year ago. Athletic and attack mode. Wow. I think he's got to shoot that. I, I thought the same thing. You know, he had a window there. First guy to the floor wins, always. That's Tony. Six turnover for K-State. All these Tony just wins your games. Tony does just go. that. Yeah, he knew shortstop pitching yeah. like that's the you know, that's he was you want left, to left handed throwing shortstop. Yeah, let's see a lot of those. Proud of that. Tony. Sold us on it. Three. Three. Been really aggressive. And I think Bruce Weber has really given him a lot of opportunity to score. Whoa! Only two on the shot clock when that came. Arkansas in the tournament last year in the Elite Eight. A little touch by the NBA and the CBA. He's it high off the back. Let this thing down to 14 all of a sudden. No tape for wow. over. The big man gets up to the game. It's because it's become a half court game, and Arkansas has been dysfunctional in a half court set. And no tape just backs down the way. Down the paint, do some dirty work down there, and give him the basketball and attack the rim. Try to get the free throw line. All on no tape. Tough shot. The first possession belongs to the Hawks. Really good spacing, good ball movement early for the Razorbacks. Note looking for Vanover. Finds him. Six to shoot. All along. Great pass from Williams to Note to Saunders. There's Davis again. I'll correct myself again. It was Davis. Vanover. Big man lays it in. Wes Miller mentored him daily. He talked about adversity shaping who we are, and now David DeJulius is in a great spot in his life. We shot three for 22. Another chance to take the lead back for the Razorbacks. Note the drive, the floor, wow. good. So That's here's the tough. first time. Actually, defensively, there have yes. been so many entertaining matchups. And Chris Likes has been a spark for the Arkansas Razorbacks over the last five minutes of this game. He's hunting, he's Whoa. hunting, he's hunting. Wow, J.D. Note. Before this shot, I knew he was going to shoot it. Just step back. He got space right there. You can see it. It's going to go up. Step back. Knock it down. Boys, that feathery touch right there. Likes. Note, I thought he was going to shoot it initially, then he leaned into Madsen and got the foul call. Discrepancy two for Note. Yeah, Wes Miller now is going to bring in a couple big in the world. Note, not the ball at a one point lead for Cincinnati in this championship game in Kansas City. Note, diving! I'll tell you what, if he'd gotten that to fall, this place would have come down. 80 points a game. There is a big personnel change for Penn. I'll tell you about it in just one moment. But first, I'll block it off the window for Jake. Revamp Arkansas roster with five key Division I transfers. Long two. And two programs at conference titles. Did it three times at Cornell. Then Penn won it in 2018. Nice spin move. And a feed inside. Note keeps it himself. Little floater. Got it. Note directing traffic. Vanover fadeaway. Got it. Man. One of the reasons why, because the Ivy League plays the fewest conference games, it's a small number of schools. 
He also said this. Proceed. Well, the other game besides Arkansas, and they beat Weber State, was Indiana State. So here I am, a 17-year-old kid. Watcher has been a tremendous weapon today. Sophomore from Thousand Oaks, California, out of Oak Park High School. He said, well, the first semester we totally weren't, weren't there. Nobody was in the gym. Nobody's anywhere. Then February 1st, they basically had a boot camp. You know, 12. Arkansas had a 14 to 1 run earlier this half. Mude drains it to form as it is. He's got a shoe print on the side of his face after that scramble. He's got 21. Bucket. There's a pen turnover. You you mentioned while we were in commercial break, you thought Penn looked a little tired at this point. Yeah, they look they don't as you can see right there. Rebounded by Note. Two on two into Slackert. And he spit. Loose ball taken away. Here's JD Note out front. The city, but turnovers an issue again today. 15 turnovers. Loose ball taken away. Here's JD Note out front. And Bemis, Vladimir, Voyard, Tadal, and just like that, there's Colin Cooper, the Fayetteville kid, but he can't score. And Audis Tony answers on that. They are really high on this young man. They think he's got a bright future. He just turned the ball over. He's got a strong body. Doesn't look like a freshman. Obviously going to have some freshman mistakes out there, but uh, a break. We'll play on. Note a wide open three and JD Note. That shot to fall. Kyalu can't lay it in. Trying to follow his own miss. Active hands of Debo Davis with a rebound. Jackson Robinson sinks an active. Scorebook with the hands. Kyalu controlling another knockaway. Amude got the steal. Did he walk with it? <laughs> that was close. Amude started the break and then he hit. I think they have a chance to, to win this game late. Darius Hall was trying to draw some contact, missed the shot. Bears have missed two or three shots at the rim. Debo Davis, two big steps, oh. separated. And hey, you don't get a story like that if you're broadcasting from your kitchen. Debo was telling that today, and it was a <laughs> great story. We had to relay. And there's a drive and a back. Amazing, um, and something he's going to remember the rest there's of no his doubt. life. Such a classy individual as Sidney Moncrief went into the Hall of Fame recently. Note on the push. There's Tony. Oh, he's Tony. We win, or we're going to develop you to play after college. Yeah, and what else do you want to hear? Yeah, what else? Because Tony knew about the Martin twins and their success at Nevada. Guess who? Tony again. <laughs> Come on, the game, and I'd say it does mean more. Yeah, you lie to yourself. I mean, it, you know, anytime you got some ties to, to a team, it, 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 it just means. Weston White, Connor Vanover controls the opening tip into the hands of Devo Davis. We're underway from Fayetteville. Man to man defensively by the Trojan Ball Club. They, If they were healthy, they'd play, probably play a little more one three because they're off to a great start, have not lost a game. And because of their great finish a year ago, you start, you know, up the up the pole. Very athletic. Palermo out of Kissimmee, Florida. Four-point game. Alley you pass. Count the basket plus the foul. Handling the one-three-one zone normally from up top, you go cross court down low. And a terrific pass that time by JD Note that put it up high. Shadowing defense by Devo Davis. Probably one of the best, if not the best, on ball defender. And he has everything. Uh, he doesn't score a lot of points, but he does everything else. Great rebounder. Great assist man. I think he won that Northern Iowa game by that Wheeler running the show. And you got Sheboy about 16 rebounds a game. It, it's a different Kentucky team. Normally we say, well, let's wait to see how good they're in February because they're all freshmen. This is a different squad. This is a veteran squad. But the, the team I'm looking forward to seeing. John reached a 33% three-point shooter. And I think the assist uh, goes to Palermo. Williams drew a triple team. And he finds Nutte. So they're not playing many bodies. I would think down the stretch of this game, uh, this Razorback team should be able to, just from a standpoint of stamina, be good. Now, this guy's the one who's been quiet, Note, and he's the one who likes to take big shots. 
third attempt is good one. JD note it. Williams goes to work inside. Dump down pass. Comes out to likes up top. Three ball on the way. Lukic now has 23 points. Number 10, he moves well enough ball, gets to a great hand. What a play that time by Jimmy. Cincinnati game that we talked about on November the 23rd, and that's the last time Arkansas has really been tested like this. They've blown out their last few opponents. Okay. This is the first attempt for Note, and it's a good one. I know what John Sunville's thinking. That's a note though. Can I right? play it? The way they played, the defenses are now up a notch. Guys have moved past what a good steal by Mota. Second one is high. Two on one. Mota on the field. Man, they just stay within striking distance. Can they get a stop? But here's the guy that's the key, J.D. Mota. He'll take tough shots and he makes tough shots. Every time it looks like Arkansas is putting the nail in the coffin <laughs> like that. <laughs> Pace of the game is, is critical. Arkansas wanting to get it up and down, use their pressure defense to get the transition. Charlotte does not want to get in an up and down game. Note rattles. What do you see here with JD Note? Just too much space, man. You can't give that guy that much space. You know, if he can for a shot. Devo Davis goes to the bench after the foul. Chris likes the transfer from Miami comes in. That was a ton of experience in college basketball. Got to look to start. Got to look to drive on these closeouts. I mean, if they're going to double, you want to get them in rotations defensively and drive the ball at them. Don't settle for threes. Lute comes up with the or Note rather comes up with the steal. Ball loose. Bodies all over the place. It's Tony gets the roll with the left hand. Just a great fit. took too long. I said, do you want to see a dribble out of that, or are you looking if for you something else? If you have to, because the last the two times prior. They didn't dri dribble back up to get create, but it worked out. Ali Khalifa back in for Charlotte. And the other thing Coach Sanchez talked about was was the pressure of all point game. Note all the way left it short, tipped around. Go Davis gets the rebound, and then Note second chance able to Inside. hounding them. Causing some turnovers. He's really gone to trapping the ball now, trying to get the ball out of the primary ball handler's hand, Young, and make other people beat him. So far, it's been very successful. Likes from the corner, got the three. Tough in traffic, though, for a big guy like that to get it right, rolling to the basket. Williams gets the run through steal, and now he gets the easy right to the over using his body. Braswell top of the key three air ball. Note pushing it. Davis tough pass. Oh. Fan over. <laughs> oh, oh, the time little little spin off the glass. Nice touch. A pool hall English on. Davis hits it off to Williams. Boy. Nice job. Hey, Butler gets credit for the basket there. Austin Butler now nine points for him. Davis into traffic, finds Note at the elbow. Just very undercooked. They pick a dude before every game. And uh, I don't know, I don't think Congratulations to you. That basket. Can't give up little bunnies like that on the baseline. Braswell from the corner, no. And Note pulls down the rebound. He is closing in on a double double. 15 points and now eight oh. boards. Oh. <laughs> wow. Make it 17 now for Jade. Go Davis. Now likes. Chris Good likes had nine in the first half. And he really lit it up, you know, really gave him some breathing room in the first half with his energy. Davis, long mid-range jumper. Again, good ball movement by the Razorbacks. They really want that ball to touch sides of the floor. 
Note off the glass. Now 19 points for him. Time to, you know, if you're Arkansas, you got to look to put this thing away. You know, you need, a, need some baskets, need some, need some good shots. Try to finish, finish the, the game. Clock winding down. Note just drives down the sideline and adds two more to the 20 points. And again, they got the ball out of the double team. They rotated to the mismatch of him being played by a big. For Note. He's going to step back and open shooter on the perimeter. That was the freshman, Nolan, his fifth made three of the year. Amude from the right elbow on the year, coming in at 15 points per game. Will you back to their largest lead of the game at 13? Davis trying to cut into that. Swish with the three. Amude stripped, but there's Note. Davis, 15 footer, fadeaway swish. Back to Groves. Too strong with the long one. Note wants to take it to the rim, wants to handle. Been a fun Saturday here at the BOK Center in Tulsa. A lot of hoops still to play. Note, three. Good. Harkless, Chagua had fallen down, so the pass went right to Note. Note bumped by Goldwire. And he's a perfect decision to jack a three, but it turned out okay. Harkless blocked by Note. Then Harkless able to get it back with his quick hands, and he's fouled by Note. Note, the freshman fell down. Defensively, Davis, three! Wow, big rainbow over Harkless. Harkless, a spin, a, wow, nice move by Elijah Harkless for the Sooners on this Saturday at Tulsa. Well, you said it well, Mark. You talked about the five guys in double figures. Maybe a little bit.
this season, but he blows up the ball screen there, gets the foul. Likes the Miami transfer in the starting lineup. How about Jimmy Hunter Woods? The additions to the starters for Elon on the floor. Here's Chris Likes on the wing. Under five contested three good for Jim. Percentage points better than their season average. And a combination of Note and Likes. Eight of 18. This is just one reason why he's the SEC's leading scorer. That time Note sizes up his man. They got the paint touch first. This time says, hey coach, I know what the game plan was, but I'm feeling they're forcing it inside Robinson. And now a giveaway on the other end of the floor. McIntosh, top shot, good defensive possession. Good sequence there for Arkansas. And the three. Ahead here by Arkansas, get the stop, as you said, and we'll kick ahead here. Easy transition three for attempt here, getting a field goal. Likes dribbling in traffic, able to keep it alive. Then he finds Note, who flips. Fouls now on Butler. Sample size. And when guys move away from the basketball, good things happen. Back-to-back -back games with 19 for Likes. There's been no greater mismatch in this game for Elon than Chris Likes' speed. Williams gave it away, got it back. Extra pass. They've got it sold out for the entire the season. Yeah, I mean, that, that's going to – that, that wins your next couple games. You get a packed house as loud as these fans get. Especially with the fan. Percent from the field and 44% from behind the arc. That would have helped the shooting percentage. An easy one there for Jalen Williams, a good finish. He missed it, but I love the shot. I mean, that, that guy did this guy but he's, he's got it's him into double figures, so the Razorbacks led the night by Chris Likes with 21. 15 from J.D. Note. 14 from Robinson. and a Well, you'd think a guy with, what, what one point in an offense. There's Trey Wade in the starting lineup, as well as Kamani Johnson. One thing Arkansas has lacked is toughness and defense. And he throws it away, but there's Williams to scoop. Up top, how about Note left all around on the play, and it's 7 nothing Razorbacks. Yeah, quick turn. Came into Bud Walton Arena, pulled off an upset, and then Arkansas returned the favor, and Como won in overtime, and then Arkansas won in the SEC tournament. Nice job defensively drawing the charge, J.D. Note. Note had 27 in that game. Easy call for the official Note set. It's kind of the Arkansas we thought we'd see more of in conference play. Missouri quick, remains chilly. Hey, Mike, a quick double team when Kobe Brown caught it in the post. Arkansas knows they're not going to let him beat them. So then the question becomes, who is option B for Missouri? Look at Note. He makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Here's the Razorbacks on a roll. Third turnover on Mizzou. Williams goes to work. And a break zone. Note stops, pops, and hits. 11-0 run for Arkansas. Special play. And Kobe Brown had it, had it stripped away. Goodness. Arkansas is everywhere. And if you're an Arkansas fan, you're glad to see Chris Light scoring the basketball. He has struggled only one point in each of the last two games. Crossover drive, the hoop and the three-point play. Ability to score the ball. JD Note, whether it's a tough three pointer, whether it's off the dribble to the rim, whether it's a floater, what's he doing? He gets his left shoulder into the freshman, keeps it. Ball game and just a guy that is an elite scorer that can score in a multitude of ways. I mean, that is JD Note. Yeah. Half minutes to go, first half. It's been all Arkansas. This man's been quiet. And Brown is tied up. A few of the referees. I was like, well, "What are you? What are you really going to do about 
these step back moves and euro steps because it was a point of emphasis to call basically less of them. What they had returning is just not a lot on the on either end of the floor and the new guys came from places mid majors and you don't know how long it takes the mid major guys. And in the last game that Jimmy saw at Florida, this guy right there, Gaines was terrific with moves like that. Couldn't get that one to go. Now the LSU, they don't put a bad defender on the floor. I mentioned how they play angry with a chip on their shoulder. If you're over two and coming off the bench. As now Davis made one out of his last 12 from the three point. Mistake by Days and a breakaway. Fudge tried to defend it. He may have deflected it. And that's up and good, and that is J.D. And we'll wait to talk with me about this on Wednesday at Florida, is how many times they foul after they give up an offense. Now, boom, and here it comes again. You get a... <laughs> Don't do it again. <laughs> Don't let one mistake become two. How about that? We'll clean how about that? In the Arkansas area, Jimmy was telling us that there was a whole bunch of snow falling, which may have impacted... His ability to be with us now. Pretty drunk. Watch Note blow by Wilkinson and use that left to go. And so he's either number one or two in the SEC in the sound down. And kind of wait, check back in. 7.38 to play. Arkansas has not shot well from the floor, and yet they're only down two. Note starting to assert himself. Gets it to can use his left against Reed and you Wish Milwaukee Wilkinson perhaps had helped a little bit more but in for the freshman. So South Carolina can set up their pressure defense after the free throw. And you see Coach Frank Martin has decided to zone Arkansas tonight. See if he can make them a little stagnant on the offensive end. Note is not stagnant to Williams. Into the free throw line. How valuable is this young man? Defensively, he's more of a guy who takes charges versus blocking shots, but offensively is where I've seen his most improvement. He's attacking more, he's more aggressive, and just a love. Williams. Little runner. Batted around and taken away there by Tony. Just took it right away from Keyshawn Bryant. Well, if you're watching this from home, realize how big the Arkansas Razorbacks lineup is outside of JT Note. So nice with the day here. No you look at Jalen Williams, who's 6'10. Stanley Amude, who's 6'6. Wade as well. They're long. They're with 10 points, three threes. He and Note going chest to chest. Note to Tony. I love it. Carter. Bryant, corner three. Woodley right there. Threw it away, though. Good defense by Note. Williams. Nice pass to Tony. And the Hogs are rolling. He's a show every time he walks out. Uh, and Jalen Williams was a huge part of this run here in the second half. Block. No take. Got the basketball to them too late. They have to acknowledge that. You have to acknowledge your strength and weaknesses. And other teams like Arkansas are realizing that too. Gamecocks 0 for 5 at four turnovers to start the second half. Good news is for them, they're only down four. And I don't, it can't get any worse. So if you play just a tick better, you're right back in this thing. But Williams makes it too easy. was the one that said it couldn't get any worse. Sorry, partner. I couldn't resist. I don't know how you get worse than 0 for 5 and 4 turnovers. <laughs> Boy, look at that difference here in the second half. No take. Sees a little seam. That's the rebound. Starts the break. Hands it off to right. Chico might have gotten away with a little shuffle. Here's Martin. Nice Good pass. pass, Carter. Collision underneath. In South Carolina there once again as usual, but Tennessee making an impeccable run, trying to get the heights back to where Coach Pat Summit had him. 
By the way, Fish, Arkansas 0 for 9 from behind the arc. No take goes up high. Arkansas has made a three in 1,092 consecutive games. The third longest streak in the country behind UNLV and Duke. We'll keep an eye on that with 9.48 to go. About a guy like Kellen Grady at Kentucky, one of the reasons why he's shooting the cover off the ball, he's shooting his best three-point percentage of his career because of the people surrounding him. J.D. Note got off offensively. Shot clock at seven. Note guarded by Reese. Those two have been chest to chest all game. Note no wins it at the shot clock buzzer. About Reese has done a good a job, as good of a job as anyone. That's good chest to chest there. He's solid. Levette tries to help and potentially got him. You're not accustomed to playing that many minutes. Players, believe it or not, can get out of shape during the season. Carter has played 25 minutes. Mude. UNLV's made it 1,144 consecutive games. Duke's at 1,130 games. They didn't get three, no take games. This year from Pittsburgh and here is that AM starting five you're right this team knocked off Arkansas two weeks ago at Reed Arena Marcus Williams whistled for the offensive foul no not that time so here is Note streaking into the front court averages close to 19 a game kicks it out to Trey Wade that's good three-pointer is left short Note again for three. Well, you comes takes a seat. And we get an early Wade Taylor, the fourth sighting, off the pine for Buzz Williams' crew. Here is Note to the rack. Lefty scoop. Fouled on the floor. And Dane. With the Razorbacks are ready for revenge. And J.D. Note, the leading scorer. Getting the hog started off right. One from deep. So AM Dane, one of eight shooting from the field. That has been sometimes its shortcomings, uh, shortcoming, I should say, this year. Arkansas takes Jacksonville in the A Sun. Prior to him even being freshman of the year. Diara cut off. Quentin Jackson, number three in the black. He's AM's leading scorer. That one turned away. It stays here years, hasn't it? Oh, absolutely. And, and social media is something you can judge based on the interactions. It's all measurable. And, and Coach Muss knows knows how to get the attention for this program with some creative creative thinking. You've been uh, doing dunks on mini goals at frat houses and everything. From deep. So an 0 of 2 start to the second half for the freshman after he went 5 of 5. Tony gets it back. Kicks out. Wade for three. That's pure. You know, AM hasn't swept Arkansas in the regular season in 36 years. It's been a long time. Note with that strong floater. Williams about to go to work. A couple of times he's just fumbled it today. Here comes Davis. Spins, has to get it out of there, and Williams bails him out. No take. Got it! This is a long pass. This is a, a bullet. And A&M caught. No has got Hefner. Couple of moves, little saucy. Jackson erases that just before the horn. Arkansas hit those six threes in the first half, just one of five from deep in the second, maintaining a seven-point cushion. It's Note to the rim. Got it! And the foul! One His more points. coming. 
kid stat line. He's got seven points, eight boards, three assists, buzz. She was just as approachable and helpful to anybody. Man, it sounds like that was also the last game you went uh, with your shirt untucked. I mean, yeah, it's it's cleaning <laughs> up time. Jalen Williams around them, starting to assert himself. He's been averaging a double double in league play, and he's oh. right on track nine now. And just the emotion and confidence Dang. he's playing with in the field. And, and what's Arkansas's answer? Late in the shot clock again. Williams wants it. They don't find him. No take. Deep hoist. Second chance. No take. Right to the tin for two. The freshman looking for an answer. Improvising. Lays it up. No. Two score game. 110 to go. Kevin Trey Wade for Arkansas was perfect on that defensive possession. I mean, that was a set play for a corner three for Taylor. He never left them, stayed right. The trajectory of their season has changed over the last few weeks. The 0-3 start to league play, it has sparked, motivated. The Flew by South Carolina in the second half on Tuesday, a 16-point win a few nights. Ole Miss plays well at home. We'll see if they can get after it defensively tonight against this Razorback squad. Yeah, and how well will they be able to shoot the ball in this game against the Arkansas Razorbacks? Just explicitly, they need more pro productivity out of Luis Rodriguez. Three on the other. Hey, that's an NBA-type schedule, right? Five games, 11 days? It is, and, and coaches would understand the fact that you need rest in between those games instead of hard practices. Those coaches that push it hard are going to struggle. Great hands. And Mike, how many 6'10 guys play 43 minutes right. in an overtime ballgame? Note sets up Wade on a tray. Defensively, it took him a while because he was on the floor. So if you're a big for Ole Miss, just run to the rim. I mean, you've got right. numbers. Make them adjust and do things. But as you're right. In Arkansas on another two-minute-plus scoring drought. That's a good way to break it right there. Man. Good if it goes. Oh! It does. How about Woo! that? Who else but J.D. Note? Over half. <laughs> At the end of the first half. Note. Speed, not full speed. Everything then bogs down. you got to make hard cuts. Beautiful. God, I missed Notes. that. That, was, yeah. that pass hit the rim. And then I'm open look. A big bucket. Talked about how quiet Morell has been. And then a defensive breakdown. But good defense, a block by Williams. Numbers the other way, inside, and there. Gets him to set that 1-3-1, one, one. the movement. There's four blue jerseys up above. Top of the key. Arkansas struggling to find a good look. Boy, good no defense. Tay. Better oh. offense. <laughs> Note finds Williams inside. Beautiful. Let's just take the last 12 teams. Last four buys, last four in, first four out, next four out. Mm -hmm. They will be juggled up and back and down and forth in the next two or three weeks. Right. Which one of those teams wins four or five in a row, right, to get yeah. out of that massive group? Williams and what Arkansas is doing well, especially the second half. It's kind of one and done. They're not getting right. many offensive rebounds. Oh my! How about I need you to slow down the quickness of what Ole Miss wants to do, and JD Note has done that. Oh no! Who's got an answer for JD Note right now? A lot of dribbling by Note. Note. Oh, goodness. <laughs> he dribbled. We've seen it. When you, especially you go on the road, it's a challenge. The Ole Miss is going to lose a home game. But credit Arkansas. What Arkansas has done from. And they're 36 seconds. I think that oh. was. Got off to that great start, 11 and 1. They have been a little shaky of late in conference play. Again, I said it. We just underway. 
Here's a move for two more. Those two West Virginia's leading scores. They combine for more than 30 a night. Note he splits a couple with the left hand. Is bit. Hey, young fella, that's why you that's why you're playing. That's why you're in the game. Don't make it complicated. Shoot it. Williams for three. Well, dribbling it out. He sees the gap and he attacks. You know, get ready. To, I mean, we need you. Either, yeah. You got to yep. get in or get out. I mean, you're not going to be effective at 70%. The oh. lob. Oh, Tony. Wow. And today. 12 points, the five rebounds, the three assists. Look at J.D. Note back into the game. And he lays it up and in. He played just at some point. He's going to have to go to it. Well, can they make a few baskets, try to set up a press? Note. Oh, wide open from 15. That's pure. J game in 19 this year. The starter has come alive. Note with the leader. Oh, that's clever. That's He's calling for it. He's got Sherman shadowing him. Note chucks it up and down. He is so good at that, Kevin. One zip. Is Arkansas going to knot things up? Oh, Johnson whistled for the foul. His minutes went yeah. down in December. Should have been playing more. <laughs> yeah. Led. And this is a difficult building to hold a lead in. Well, and now you know, he got to the point where he was he really wasn't able to sleep, he told me, but a couple of hours a night. We have to score off of our defense. And this is not an area for Georgia. They've been solid all season long. They play in spurts. Can they put 40 minutes together against the talk about shooting it well, particularly from outside the arc? Georgia is a perfect five for five. Bauman doing most of the work. <laughs> weaving and weaving and it leads to a run out here for Arkansas unselfish play laying it up and in bounce a really good read and finish by likes Step up by Quindo not there likes the transfer from Miami only played a couple of games a year ago because of injury Not even what happened in Allen Fieldhouse and the Jayhawks just they kind of got punked by Kentucky is what they did Yeah, it was a magnificent performance by the like a defense Abdul Rahim down the lane, drops some contact at the evil eye for the official, and quickly the other way. Nice unselfish play. Good score inside. Note working on oh, Bridges. Good. Beautiful good. move. Off the window with the left. Arkansas can't stay in front of the basketball. That number could stay pretty solid for Georgia. Really important answer that time by Cook now with had to get to that slot three position early in their transition offense and they found him. Cook with the middle of the floor left wide open missed the layup as Williams came over to challenge. Boom. Feeling it. What? Jalen Williams takes it takes another charge. There's not a another in this league taking defensive charges. Play by Adis Tony coming from the weak side to reject that. Note with a three-pointer throw line too. That was a, a huge factor for Georgia. They have yet to get to the stripe so far in the second half. Georgia goes zone. Arkansas trying to get the ball to the nail, and it's like this. And from that point on, man, they have been as good as anybody in this league on the defensive end of the floor. Both teams cooling off a little bit. Williams can make a three. Yes, he can. Now, looking pretty solid with seven teams in Joe Lenardi's bracketology. Yeah, you look at Arkansas oh. sitting there as a nice seed just a couple of weeks ago. They were like on the, the first four out, but yeah, that six game winning streak moves you up quickly. And again, I mentioned it, got a really good Mississippi State team come into Bud Walton this yep. Saturday. Auburn on top, followed by Kentucky, then Tennessee, Arkansas, Mississippi State, LSU, which is really struggling. And a Texas A&M team, which has now lost five in a row. You know when you're driving your car and the light comes on and says you're, you're 14 miles till empty and you're just hoping to make it to the gas station? That's where I'm at right now. Potentially a real difference maker in terms of how far Arkansas can go. They went to the Elite Eight last year. Off the backboard. He's shown you three-point. Six of nine shooting played only 19 minutes so far. 
And it's a careless play. Another careless turnover by Georgia has really hurt him. Nice hustle by Edder, number 11 in white, giving it up to Aquindo. He will go ahead and attack the basket. Mississippi State and for Tolu Smith. This is the starting five for the Hogs. Dane, you just outlined it. Number 10 in the white, Jalen Williams. He's been an X factor, a dynamic, versatile big. He's got the basketball now. Puts it on the deck. The drive and the lefty layup. Hey. Brooks leaves the three short. Note snares the board. Up ahead to Davis. Gathers, lays it up and in. Lights just rips it away. Note count it. Well, if you want to beat Mississippi State's half-court defense, you better push the ball in transition and get there before they can get back. And J.D. Note should... They've got that figured out now, and it starts on the defensive end as they've gotten bigger. They can... Are you saying the highlight uh, tape from this first half is not going to be as uh, emphatic as what it typically appears? Yeah, it, it's it's going back and forth. Who's that on? And... A little bit more. Molinar for three. That's wrong. In transition, Tony flips to Nota. Nice job. Yeah, getting some baseline looks down low and some curls for Molinar. Not just making him operate 30 feet and in, but getting him some touches 10 feet and in. The Panamanian grew up in Panama City before playing high school ball in California. J.D. Nota. That's a hard hedge. See him come across. Instead of continuing to go right, he comes right back to where he came from, which confuses the defense. They're all hitting still. And then Wade's going to get the easiest two he'll have all season off this beautiful dish. Shaquille Moore wants three in transition. Left it short. Air ball. Now Note. Eyes up to the rack. Count it. Over rhythm here in the second half offensively. That was Johnson with the most recent baskets, but a fine night for him. Let me correct myself. It's three fouls on Williams, so he's on the bench. So boy, has he ever taken advantage of it these last few years. Has grown tremendously. His team's down two. There is a paint touch for JV and Davis, and boy, maybe not an easier look for Davis tonight. This is Note now. A blur. Lays it. That's good. JD snares it. Molinar again put on the gas. No tank turns that one away. He drives in. He will figures. <laughs> and both of them hardly come out of the game. Ben Allen's going to try to squeeze in a minute of rest before this media timeout for Molinar. Lights, it. Right. Whatever Mike Kaywood puts <laughs> in the game notes, I read. It, it's a uh, Ron Burgundy approach when Kaywood writes it. Hey, look, those are quality, uh, quality game notes, by the way. Not too many fast break points in this one, but Arkansas has been very opportunistic. A great kick ahead, J.D. Note to Devo Davis, who stuffs it down. And on the other end, when you... Williams comes to set the screen. Note draws a crowd. Williams open from 15. It's not that they're hitting a bunch of threes. It's that they're...